Hi, boys and girls. Miss Fair said you liked the last story, so I thought I would read you another one. I have a question before we start. Do you ever try to do something and it takes you more than one try? I really wanted to read my story to you outside because the book's kind of set in the outside, but it was too bright and it was too windy, so I came inside. And then I kept messing up on the words as I was reading, so this is the fourth try at reading this book to you, but I'm going to get it right this time. Today's book is called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type, and this is a Caldecott Award winner, so that's a good book. Because it's set in a farm theme, my chicken came to help. So, hi, chicken. Yeah, say hi to boys and girls. Hi, boys and girls. There we go. Okay. He doesn't read very well. He's still working on that. He's in kindergarten, so. Um, but he's going to join us today. So, Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Daniel Bray and Ashton, I hope you guys like this book. Here we go. I'm going to try and show you the pictures as best I can. So there's our first picture. Farmer Brown has a problem. Oh, no. He doesn't look happy, does he? He doesn't look happy at all. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. See how the moo is bold? I think that means I'm supposed to say it really, like, really loud. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Can you believe that, chicken? No, chicken can't believe it either. Jackson and Bella, what do you think? I don't know. If I heard moo, if I heard click, clack, moo coming from around my house, I think I'd be worried. He couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. He's going to check it out. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Like he's got a problem. There we go. He's looking at something. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. They left him a note. Look at that. What do you think? Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. They wrote a nice letter, though, didn't they? They started out with dear, and then they ended it with sincerely. What do you think Farmer Brown's going to do? You think he's going to get them blankets? Yeah. It w Oh, I don't think so. Check this out. This doesn't look good. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. Do you know what it means to go on strike? It means you're not going to do what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend you do that to your parents or Miss Fair, but that's what it means. So what do we think? What do you think the cows are going to do? Are they going to give up? What do you think, chicken? No? Yeah, I don't think so either. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Read it with me. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. I wonder what they're writing this time. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Now they've got the hens in on it. What do you think? Is that a good idea? Oh, Mr. Chicken thinks that's a good idea. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure he's going to go for it. See, there he is way back there reading the letter. The chickens are kind of hiding. They're looking. Let's see what happens. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door says closed no milk no eggs now he doesn't get milk or eggs it's gonna be hard to be a farmer no eggs cried farmer brown in the background he heard them click clack moo click clack moo clickety clack moo hmm. cows that type hens on strike whoever heard of such a thing how can i run a farm with no milk and no eggs Farmer Brown was furious. Do you know what furious means? Say it. 
I think Parker and Charlie and Tanner all said it. Furious means very, very angry. Like, I'm sure you've never seen Miss Fair Furious, but when I taught long ago and far away, you know, sometimes my kids would make me furious, but they were fifth graders. Fifth graders do that. Farmer Brown got his own typewriter. Uh-oh. Maddie Colton, what do you think? He's got his own. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Oh, he also wrote a nice letter. Ended it with sincerely. He doesn't look too happy, though. Let's see. We think it's going to work. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Ooh, Molly, Cohen, and Gabe, there are lots of big words in there. A neutral party, what do you think that is? Do you know? You still don't know? Okay, pay attention. Because I think some of the children know. I'll bet Jordan and Bentley know. A neutral party is someone that doesn't really care what happens. Like, it's okay if either side wins. They're not going to pick sides. They're a neutral party. He brought the ultimatum to the cows. Sophia and Mikkel, what is an ultimatum? Oh, I think I heard somebody say it. I'm not sure if it was Jolie or Vanna or Gabe or someone else. An ultimatum is is kind of a deal where you say this is what has to happen or something bad happens. So you have to go to bed because it's bedtime, period, end of discussion, is an ultimatum you may have gotten from your parents. Or you need to get all of your work done or you will have to do it at recess is an ultimatum you might have heard from Miss Fair, but I'm sure she's far too nice to say such a thing to you. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. Oh, look, we've got a horse and a pig and a cat and maybe a dog. Oh, and a sheep. There's a sheep. But they don't understand Moo, so they can't tell what was talking. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Do you know what exchange means? I heard somebody say it. I heard a couple people. To exchange means to trade. So they'll trade. We will cha exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows, they came to a deal. So they said, if you'll give us the electric blankets, you can have our typewriter. We'll be done. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Look, everybody's got electric blankets even plugged in. I'm sure they got a grown-up to plug them in for them, so they're all set to go. Oh, this could be concerning. This is, yeah, it's, it's a little concerning. The next morning, Farmer Brown got a note. Who wrote it this time, do you think? Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. The ducks got the typewriter. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety clack quack. Oh my god. Oh look! They got their diving board. I hope you liked that book. That is one of my favorites. Chicken, did you like it? Oh, chicken liked it. Excellent. I think I'm gonna read you another one here in a little bit too. So stay tuned.